All right, all right. What's going on, everybody? It's Childish. We're back at it again with the next subscriber showcase. Y'all know what it is. It's the one series out of the week that I go ahead and dedicate to um, the people that find me in the arena, showcasing their arena defense, showing the pros and cons in an effort to uh, come together as a community and see if we can improve his arena defense so you guys can see how it works um, in the game. So uh, next one up is Gambito. I found Gambito uh, recently. Uh, for those that have been kind of paying attention to the channel, um, I recently uh, dropped down uh, my arena ranking just to uh, make sure that I start uh, using all my wings as soon as possible. So you're going to find me a lot now in the Fighter 3, Conquer 1, Conquer 2 range. So if you guys see me, definitely shoot me an email at Childish402 so I can record the fight and uh, hopefully uh, get back to you so I can make a subscriber showcase for you so you guys can see your arena defense in action. All right. Uh, first one up is Gambito. So Gambito here is a uh, lawyer subscriber. We want to go ahead and give him a little shout out. Uh, let's see. His arena defense is a unique one to say the least, right? Um, we got ourselves Gemini. We got ourselves Veramos. Um, we got ourselves Theo. And then we got ourselves Belladion. So let's start out with the rare one here. Running as the lead right now, Gemini, the light Brownie Magician, so if people haven't seen this particular unit, pretty interesting here. Um, just like every Brownie Magician gets the opportunity to um, uh, go with a, an, an additional turn here, and then you got the opportunity to um, do an AoE defense break, and then it's passive, a very unique passive. Uh, the ability to increase his attack power by 50% if your HP ratio is lower than the target's in HP ratio. So, uh, you know, if you're sitting at like 50% health and the target sitting in a 60% health and your attack power increases by 50. In addition to that, a universal leader skill for 90%. So I believe that's why he's running it in his arena defense. So uh, taking a look at his setup here, he's going with the spare revenge, speed, attack, attack. So he's definitely trying to make uh, the most out of this with regards to doing some damage in addition to um, doing um, you know, a little bit of stun proc there with the despair revenge that I'm a big fan of despair revenge for the um, Brownie Magicians, at least for the light, dark, um, the uh, fire one. I mean, essentially all of them, with the, with the exception of Orion. Orion, I'm a big fan of Violent on there. But um, we got ourselves uh, Speed Attack, Attack. And so, you know, just flat out, uh, I mean, I guess the, the big thing to, to kind of make up for, it looks like he's kind of using a, a kind of aggressive approach when it comes to his arena defense so he's using a team that he probably uses in the arena offense you know obviously he has some work to do here you know maximizing his runes and whatnot here take advantage of that um you know as far as the two four six one should be the focus and then you know eventually getting these um one three and five uh, max out or whatever but um as far as the um stats overall uh you know like i said not too bad for where he's at you can tell that he's looking to improve um, the speed leader is very, very nice, and the speed improves the damage of the Veramos on the first skill as well as the Theomars in the first skill, so you can see why um, he does try to incorporate that. So, uh, next one up is going to be Veramos here. Rocking a violent focus set with speed, hit point, and hit point, using the uh, focus runes to give him a little bit more accuracy so he can make sure he lands those dots and, and gets those stuns in lock. An extremely high amount of accuracy for... Uh, not having you know accuracy on six, which is obviously not something that people generally do. So really, really nice job putting some of the better runes on your better units. Um, really, there's nothing else to mark other than you know continuously try to improve your rank. I believe you were hanging around in the comic for one and, and looking to know why you how you can improve. I think it's just going to come overall to the composition and runes. Runes is always going to be the the end all be all to it. You know, with regards to Veramos, uh, this this type of Veramos here with the hit points and speed is definitely um, good as far as you know PvE progression goes, but as far as trying to be competitive on the arena defense side, um, you're gonna you're gonna find yourself uh, uh, definitely struggling here because the um, competitive uh, Veramosas in the mid to late stages and even end game stages are generally running about 200 or so speed or more uh, with a violent nemesis set. So it's just got some work to do. You can tell that. Um, you definitely done your work as far as getting the runes upgraded here, but it just, you know, continuously farm those runes and, and continuously improve. Okay, so next one up is the um, Theomars. So Theomars, 
Violent Blade set with speed, crit damage, attack. So he's using a faster Theomars approach uh, versus slower Theomars. Now take note, um, I, per I, I technically run a, an attack, crit damage, attack uh, approach. Um, not as speedy as his, um, but I'm not using Chloe in my arena defense. So I can uh, let Chloe take advantage of that first turn with Fnatic. He is not, so he's generally going to benefit out of being a little bit quicker. quicker. And of course, he's taking advantage of the speed leader skill. Um, and so it, it's definitely nice uh, to lead out with a unit like this that has the ability to land a defense break. And because his his team is essentially, um, you know, essentially universal in such that you know it's all light and dark units, with the exception of Theomars, who has no issue with regards to his um, attribute advantage, the Elemental King. It, it definitely makes for a nice composition because um, it allows him to defense break anybody, and his the rest of his team will go straight for it. He's not worried about. Um, elemental disadvantage of it. So that is kind of nice. That is kind of nice. So yes, again, really good job on getting these um, getting these runes that you got. And again, um, you know, even though this is not the best of runes, um, I would definitely, you know, consider, uh, you know, if you do get a, a better rune or you do have a little bit extra money, you know, take it, take it a plus 15. Okay. A lot of people will might comment down below, say, hey, you know what? That's a crappy rune. You know, definitely don't go for it. But Here's the deal. Um, when you're running a speedy Theomars, you lose a lot of value, um, you know, from the attack percentage that you can get. So essentially, um, he's losing about 46% attack uh, because he's running, you know, 39 speed on here. Um, generally speaking, I, I like the uh, I like the attack or damage attack with the speed substats. Uh, I find more value in running the higher attack with just a little bit less speed if you can find the speed substats on your rune. But since he cannot, you can tell that he's um, you know, using the runes that he got, um, the speedier, the speedier rune is fine. But again, um, if you are, uh, going with speed on two, you need to go out of your way on the one, the three and the five slot fail one, three and the five slot to make sure that you get yourself um, as much attack as possible. And when it comes to my recommendation for anybody that's using game changing units for all aspects of the game maximize the rune in addition to 246 maximize the rune that is going to provide the most um the the it's going to be the significant stat for the unit at hand so when i think about a dmr cmr is an attack based unit so in, in doing so you're going to max two four and six but then if you get yourself a decent rune i'm always going to take this one a plus uh 160 because this 50 attack may not be a lot to you but uh at, at the end of the day when we're using this in in Guild Wars and Arena, um, or now in the Rift of Worlds, we're looking for every edge we can get. And if this is a unit they're using for everything uh, in this game, um, then I would definitely, you know, uh, you know, move that up there. And of course, if you find that this rune is just not, um, if you feel that it's not high quality, or if you have a subscriber, or if one of you guys as subscribers are kind of in the same situation where you're like, oh, I don't want to do that because my rune is crappy, then take a look at your units and find out how many, how many, you know, violent one slot runes you have are you using the best runes are your best units make sure that you're putting those on there um, so that you can you know get the most out of that particular unit if you're using it in more aspects of the game than others okay so speed crit damage attack violent blade i like it really good um crit damage here and of course the crit rate is a little bit higher than it needs to be um but again you know that's that's considering the elemental king and then the you know the the the, the skill and whatnot but uh, overall, you know, obviously, if you're if you're sitting at that, you know, 60, 60 percent range uh, running the leader skill is great. But if you're not, then the 85 percent is a good amount to have. So um, let's see. And then last but not least, um, we got ourselves Belladion. OK, Belladion. Um, he is. This is a different Belladion. Uh, definitely. Uh, let's take a look here. Speed, defense, defense. Now, um, before everyone gets all nitty gritty about this, uh, you know, I would have to say defense is by far one of the most underrated and overlooked um, stats out there today. Uh, there's a lot of people that undervalue it, and it's definitely one to mention. So now I do believe that he's using the runes that he got, and you can tell with some of the focus runes here, the hit point substats, the accuracy substats on the two and the three, in addition to the hit point and accuracy substats here, and the hit point substats here kind of tell you, you know, overall that he is... Um, that's why he's using the runes that he has. You know, when it comes down to putting the best runes on the best units, it, it, it kind of comes down to the substats, not just the primary stats, but the substats you can get in order to balance the unit. So again, take a look at this guy's accuracy. Definitely a high amount of accuracy for uh, Belladion without a 
uh, accuracy rune on six. So I like that. I definitely like that. Um, now that being said, really the only thing to to knock on this is the is the fact that he has to use you know the accuracy runes to get the stats that he wants. I would do, I would love to see like a nemesis set um, on this particular unit if he is using it primarily for the arena defense all day. Reason being, it is your only healer, so if they do go for the unit, try to take it out real quick, um, then the, the nemesis could help them get that additional, you know, get that turn um, as quick as soon as possible so you can get your heal and, and defense breaks off as soon as possible. But again, um, really good setup here uh, as far as the stats go. Now, let's, let's, let's take a look at the, you know, setup in general, okay? The reason why um, this particular defense may not be successful is because He's trying to compete with the speed meta. He's trying to um, emulate the speed meta, what he's seeing in the meta, but he's doing it with a team that unfortunately does not have the speed to compete, okay? So here's the reality of it, guys. As much as I want to provide uh, positive you know, feedback on this, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, in the Conquer, the Conquer 1 to Conquer 3 ranks are, is extremely competitive and they understand um, the speed meta and even more so in the end game stuff. But when you're looking at these, um, you know, stats overall, um, the the team has no, um, you know, first turn kind of fanatic kind of, you know, to, to, to get, get keep people away from the Lucians. This is very uh, Lucianable, okay? Uh, in addition, uh, like I said, it's just, it's just cleansing, um, you know, ni nice, you know, damage that's going to come from, you know, Theo. And the, and the cleansing from the bare bones, but again, the downside to this is since there's no um, initial immunity or initial like kind of you know fanatic with Chloe or whatever like that, um, a lot of people are going to take advantage of Evolution, a speedier double Evolution kind of comp, and take this one out. But that being said, um, again, it's it's just about you know taking a look at his overall units and whatnot. There's a lot of compositions that he probably can play around with, but if it comes down to um, teams that he uses in, in all aspects of the game. If he's putting the best runes and his best units and playing around with this, then then by all means go with it. Um, but again, um, definitely see what you can do to mix it up. You have a, a nice wide variety of units that you can play around with. If you decide to go the bruiser, uh, 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 like a bruiser style of approach, a lot of nice units to play around with. But again, uh, it all comes down to what you want to do and, and how successful your team is. You know, only only you can tell us. Um, you know what what your what your win to loss ratio is and if you find yourself losing a lot more than you expect You know in that like losing 90% of your defensive wins then um, don't be Don't get down especially if you're a subscriber watching this and you have a similar setup Don't be down because this is the same scenario that a lot of people have where they have this team that may make sense when you look at it from the you know inside but if you look at it from the outside um, there's a lot of um, There's a lot of counters. There's a lot of ways to beat it, you know can when you're setting up that arena defense, you got to think about how many, you know, in the composition that you're running, how many things can you counter? What can you counter? What can you, you know, get away with? Because it's not, there's never a team that can counter everything. But uh, there's, you definitely want to set up your team to um, have a specific goal. And if that's to be able to, you know, be extremely speedy and, and, or counter certain things, you got to make sure that your, your stats are where you want to be. So again, um, thank you, Gambito, for uh, letting me know that you were on my arena list. And we'll go ahead and cut off to the next one here. Um, again, I can't think of anything else I wanted to add. Again, just just playing around with the composition, working on the speed of your of your team. Um, I think that um, you know Gemini and, and everything is cool, but again, I think that the speed overall between all of your units is a little bit low for the rank that you're at. So it's going to be hard to be competitive in addition to being Lucianable. So again, just comes down to playing around with your team and seeing what you can do in the end. But again, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, it's time to go ahead and go to the arena match. So this is Childish with Childish Place checking out. Take care. We will see you next time, guys. We're out.
all right all right we're back once again with hypnotic nick now um you guys probably seen him a little bit more uh in the guardian 3 ranks he's been playing around in guardian 2 guardian 3 a little bit more um as this video was made um in this particular week which you're probably not going to see this for a week or two uh he uh did get a, a top four i think he got a finished top four in uh in, in one of the arena resets so he's He's aggressively pushing hard as he can to do well. Um, it's cool to see, um, you know, him improve over the course of the last few months, and, and, and you know, definitely get himself a nice handful of units of runes that have um, definitely shined in the arena setting. So, um, his particular team is a unique one to say the least. Uh, this is kind of a uh, he did a lot of testing um, in this particular week, so I got the opportunity to test his team. So I wanted to go ahead and showcase that. Um, he is running um, Orion. Bernard, Camila, and where's he at? Kuma, 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 Kuma. So let's take a look at his leader. He's actually running Orion as the lead. Orion as the lead. So um, here we go with the Violent Will set. Speed, hit point, hit point, I believe. Yeah, buddy. And as you can see right now, his because Orion is such a clutch unit in every aspect of the game, He's really focused on uh, getting the uh, upgrades on these runes here to improve his speed and hit points to get the stats up there. Really nice, uh, really nice. You know, almost 230 speed on a violent set and uh, 30k HP. I can't, I can't get mad at that. And as far as the accuracy goes, um, you know, I, I've been, I've been taught that you know if you can get it, you know, over, you know, that 40 to 50, 50 uh, percent plus range, um, then that's going to be the way to go. Uh, mine is currently at 62, but I, I feel like I was still, you know, um, locking it down just as much as I was at 62% as I was at 45 um, when I was sending the 45-50%. So I think the 45-50% is still pretty good. Um, but yeah, as you can see, uh, overall, really, really nice runes here. Um, great sub stats, so he's looking real good. Uh, speaking of fast people here, let's take a look at his Bernard here. Doing it big with 282. He has by far um, really taken advantage of these um, uh, farming the level three and level four rift runes. As you can see, every particular rune um, is um, has these uh, stats improved. Um, and again, um, you know when you when you're when you're thinking about you know putting your 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 best units on the best runes, the the grindstones and enchantment gems, you know that's the same thing. It all applies. It all applies. So if you have the opportunity. Um, to improve those stats, uh, regardless if it's you know percentage based or even look at here, uh, where's it at? Oops, where was this at? It was on one of these here. There we go. On this one here, he he even he even is going out of his way to improve this this flat stat, which which some people might be like, really, you know. But again, this is one of his best units, so he needs to you know make it as tanky as possible. Um, as fast as possible, especially if he's playing around with it in that Rift War setting. So, uh, you know, big shout out to him for going out of his way to improve the units quality hand. You don't see a lot of 280 speed Bernard, so it's pretty darn, it's pretty darn sick. Um, let's see. Then we got ourselves uh, Camila, probably his latest um, pull, his latest pull here as far as the Nat 5s go. So, shout out to him. Uh, he is running Violent Nemesis with attack, crit damage, and attack. So again, as you can see around some of these runes here, he is doing what he has to do to upgrade those um, substats uh, and get those get those stats as high as possible. Um, really nice attack power, really nice speed on the unit, and the crit rate is really good. This is a really well built um, Camila, not too shabby on the hit points, not too shabby on the speed. Everything is well balanced. I like it. I like it. Definitely one of the the better Camillas I've seen out there. Um, there's really nothing to, to say bad about this particular unit. It's just a well well done unit. So congratulations to you, sir. And then we got ourselves the big bad Kumar here, doing a big with the HP crit damage HP setup. And again, one of my favorite setups for anybody that has themselves uh, a beast monk. Uh, the crit rate crit damage are extremely respectable, um, but even more so the speed um, on this particular unit. Um, it's something that I've always kind of strived for. I cannot get um, my speed in this range like I want without sacrificing, you know, um, a quite a bit of hit points here. So, kind of a goes back and forth. But I, uh, I do feel that he's uh, his his unit is definitely 
Um, it's definitely strong, and uh, I I know that I fought against him many times. We've actually gone back and forth many times, and generally, is his crew more is the one that does something random and and, and, and makes me <laughs> makes me rage. So, again, shout out to Hypnotic Nick. Uh, if you guys didn't catch the last um, uh, video that I did for the summoning session, then you will know that he does have a YouTube channel. He is making content in the Guardian Two Guardian Three Arena. And also providing new content um, for um, just some of the stuff, some of the achievements that he's done, the dragons, the giants, and whatnot. So we're trying to bring out a little bit more for you guys, not just the PvE stuff. So make sure you check into that. So um, that is it, guys. We are done with the second um, subscriber for the subscriber showcase. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, it's your boy Childish with Childish Plays. Checking out. Take care. We will see you next time, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah.